Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to episode four of our guide series. Today, we're starting off in my FK fish farm and we're going to be talking a lot about food today, specifically top tier foods. Now, the reason why we're going to be doing that is because food is so important in the beginning of any Minecraft game. You need it so you can venture out and do all the things you want to. We wouldn't have been able to go in the nether in the last episode if we didn't have some quality food. So in today's episode, we're going to be kind of looking at how we can make some different farms to ensure that we actually get some top tier food. Now you're probably asking yourself, what is top tier food? Is it like golden apples? Is it fish? Well, you're not completely wrong with those two guesses. We're going to be talking about top tier foods in the terms of steak, salmon, mutton, and pork chops. And then yes, golden apples as well, but that's rather expensive. So we're going to be focusing on two different kinds of farms today that you can actually get salmon and some steak and or pork chops if you really want to. So the first kind of food that we're going to be looking at is steak and steak comes from cows. So we need to go ahead and find some cows and we're going to take the wheat that we have here along with um, our other items. Let me clean up my inventory real quick and then we'll go look for some cows. So the kind of farm that we're going to be building today is a really simple cow crusher. And the benefits of going with cows instead of pigs, you can do this absolutely the same way with pigs as well. However, cows you get a byproduct other than just the steak you actually get yourself some leather now leather is good for a lot of different things that can be your armor that can also be stuff to make books which then in turn you can turn into bookshelves so our goal is to find some cows which we have just done um, and what you're gonna need to lure them back is some wheat Another benefit of using cows over pigs is pigs can only be breeded by um, carrots and so carrots are not necessarily an easy thing you can only find carrots whether you get a chest which we happen to find in our little boat over here and or in a village so wheat is the cheapest material that you can possibly use in your farm and we've already set up a wheat field they're pretty easy all you have to do is um, come on grass give me a seed uh, yeah we just have to collect seeds like that and then automatically we go ahead and get wheat and we can start growing it. Now, sheep will also follow with the wheat, but you're gonna have it in your hand. You can also put it in your offhand and they will still follow you. And this way, it's just going to allow you to bring them back to your base. Now, this process can take a little bit of time. As you can see, we're not far from our base at all. And it's still taking just a minute for them to come. So let's get them back to our base and then we'll jump to our next step. Now, the more cows you can bring back is going to allow you to be a little bit more successful. Um, and I don't remember breeding two cows, but okay, uh, we got that achievement and we got a baby cow now. So that's cool. So once you're pretty close, ideally, you'd want to place them in a bin or not a bin, uh, a pen. But right then it was getting dark. So we were just going to leave them there and they're going to hang out in this area. So now comes for us to switch this out. So they stop following us. Um, Oh, I still got it in my head. Okay, so they're done following us. We need to find a place where we can make a little cow crusher. So we don't have a whole lot of resources at our disposal right now. So they're they're going to be pretty simple. So we're not going to do too much necessarily, but we're just going to make it enough so it gets by. And that's going to be just a lot of oak logs and a lot of cobblestone. So we're going to make just a very basic shape kind of like that. Um, my plan for this area is not necessarily to stay in here for uh, too long until we get enough resources and built up that we can kind of go exploring and maybe find a better location for a base. Um, that's kind of the idea I have. However, you don't know this, this may become our base and we'll have to spruce it up a little bit better, which wouldn't be too hard to do as we get more resources. But yeah, so we're going to just build up a quick little um, I don't know what you want to call it, building to keep our cows in. So let's let, let's take a look at that. All right, all right, are you guys ready? In three, two, one. Whoa. Okay, that was cool. That was some little magic there. I I didn't realize. Now, um, yeah, the building looks pretty derpy. It, it, it looks on par with our AFK fish farm. Um, however. You know, guys, don't make fun of me. We're, we're really early on. We don't have too many building blocks. 
Um, we're not trying to do something amazing quite yet. We're just we're just trying to get ourselves the materials and the food that we need so we can do amazing things. So this is the start of where we're going to have our actual cow crusher. And one of the things that we need to do is we need to dig a hole. Now, once that hole's been dug, we're going to get ourselves a chest and we're going to place it right here facing towards us. We're going to get a hopper going into it and we're going to place some blocks right around here. And now we have to place an upside down stairs so we can actually open the chest. But that is the start of our farm and we're just going to leave that open and what we're going to do. Is we're going to build it up and you could build this deeper into the ground if you wanted to um, we're just not going to quite yet um, it probably would look a little bit better if you built it a little further into the ground but that is not going to be an issue to me because this is right now it's going to be only temporary until we actually get more um, a better location but so what we're going to do is we're going to end up getting cows to come in here and fall in so that, that's where the fun part begins. So we're going to have to, and if you can find a wandering lead salesman, oh, this gets so much easier. So our task is to find our cows that should not have wandered too far away, but apparently have. Um, we're going to need to get at least 24 cows bred up and into that little machine. So come on, buddy. Come on. Yep, yep, you want to come with me. I know you do. You're going to live the best life, I promise. Don't tell him I'm lying. You're going to be just fine. There's going to be a whole lot of food. Oh, no, Mr. Sheep, I don't want you. Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to do that. Okay. No, Mr. Cow, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm so sorry. Come on. It's it's okay, I promise. I I know you're skeptical now, but it's okay. Before the cow gets up here, we need to place a bucket of water at the bottom here. All right, Mr. Cow. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that. Oh, no, no. Don't fall off. All right. So the idea is to get him and that one. And what you need is at least two cows to start off with. Um, because if you can at least get two in there, you can at least start breeding them. Um, I guess we're going to have to break some of this. Uh, there, there's a cow in the in the pond. Okay. So we're just going to carefully get them in. Um, maybe nudge them just just a little bit. Uh, not what I wanted to do. E. So we are going to continue and this is this is the fun part guys. I'm telling you, this is really the fun part. And it helps if you can just kind of bop them in just like that. Perfect. All right, bud. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't want to do that. No, don't fall off there. Okay, come on. Come on. Yep, come on. Come on. Yep. Perfect, come on, no, don't, don't jump, don't jump, sir, don't jump, all right, come this way, come this way, come this way, come this way. So once you get your two cows in there, you are pretty much kind of done. You only need two cows to start, you can put more in there, but as you can see, it, it, it was a little challenging, um, but the next part is you're going to build back up. And you're going to place a little fence over them. And the reason why is because, as you see, they'll start to bounce up and down. And that just kind of keeps them in. And you can start to breed them. And you're going to end up getting 24 cows in here total. And once 24 happens, you'll start to notice that they start to entity cram. So I'm going to work on breeding up these cows over the next couple Minecraft nights. And I'll come back to you guys once we have quite a few in there. One map later.
So we're trying this again. I um, forgot I wasn't recording. Um, and so we've already collected some beef and some leather. So that's perfect. So let me show you guys. So once you get up here and you've got all your cows in, they'll start to turn towards you. And so what you want to do is you want to come at them like in a U pattern almost around the fence post. That'll start to breed. As you can see, they start to entity cram just a little bit. And as they entity cram, you will start to have them die off. And I think I think that's everyone. All right. So we come down here now and our we've already got 41 raw beef and 28 leather. So this is an awesome little system that you can use to get some really good um some really good food early on in the game and it's it is not that resource intensive if you can at least get five pieces of iron and a chest to make a hopper that's really the most expensive part of that build and then of course being able to cook up the beef and me personally i like to use a smoker just built with some different kinds of wood or logs and then a furnace in it and that will actually cook up your food a lot quicker which makes it a lot more efficient so there we go we've already got our first source of food and then our next source is the afk fish farm now the afk fish farm has changed quite a bit um, in terms of its use in 1.116 now, in previous versions, these were incredibly amazing and beneficial. You could get treasure items like books of mending and a bunch of different, uh, like different kinds of books or enchantment books that you could get from this. Well, in 1.16, they changed how that works. Um, so it's not good for actually fishing up treasure items. However, I have been fishing with just a regular rod now for I don't know. A couple hours um, on and off and uh, this is what I've gathered plus a full stack of cod which you can see we've got 52 right here that we cooked up for our nether adventure so it's pretty good now cod is going to be the most common thing you catch salmon on the other hand is the best type of food that you can get from an afk fish farm so let me jump over into a creative world and let me show you real quick how we built this all right, so right here is all the materials that you're going to need. You're just going to need a hopper, a chest. I like to make it a double chest because it's more efficient, a note block, and then a iron trap door, and then a heavy weighted pressure plate, and then just a fence. And you'll also need a bucket of water. So the way it starts off with is you're going to make a space for your chest. You're going to place it in the ground. Then you're going to place your hopper facing into that chest. On top of that hopper, you're going to place a fence and then a hole right there. Then next to that hole, you're going to place a note block. You're going to listen to it go up. You're going to place a temporary block on top. Now, if you don't want to listen to the note block as you're fishing, go ahead and just leave that temporary block. Make it pretty. Put it as glass. But what you're going to do is you're going to place the iron trap door right here. And then you're going to place your heavy weighted pressure plate right there. Then you're going to take your water bucket and water log the fence post. And it'll fall into that little hole. Now, you can take that off. And all you need now is a fishing rod and a fishing rod with mending is by far the best, but you're going to right click and you're going to aim for right there on that note block and you're just going to hold down the right click button until you start catching fish and keep holding it down. You can walk away from your computer, but if you do do that, make sure you put yourself in a safe area and then eventually you'll start to catch fish just like that. And if we check our chest, we got our first raw cod. So out of these two methods, my favorite one is the AFK cow crusher, and you don't really need much for it. You just need wheat and a small little wheat field. If you get that started up in your first day or your first two days, it's going to be very easy to just utilize later on and to make. So those are my two tips on how to have some efficient and effective food when you're starting off your brand new Minecraft world, guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video, guys. If you like today's content, make sure you hit that like button and comment down below and subscribe. Let me know that you like this content and you want me to continue making stuff like this. Those likes really help me out. But until next time, guys, I hope you guys have a good one and I hope you stay safe out there.